nice shrimp, which I'm just gonna poach in the perfect bath. So I have five pounds of shrimp, and I'm gonna cook them inside the shell, but we will just cut them and take the vein out. So that bouillon, with all those wonderful flavors, can seep right in there, but they stay nice and tucked in their shells, cozy. So I start with two and a half quarts of water, and then four bay leaves. And I like to add about 16 peppercorns, a splash of hot sauce, a tablespoon of salt, and then just cut up a lemon into slices, and I use all of it. And I just put those slices right into there. A small bunch of parsley that I just kind of give a little break to, bruise it a little bit, and get those wonderful grassy tastes out into the liquid. Just put this on fairly high heat, because I just want to bring this all up to a boil, and then I'll lower the heat and let it simmer for a minute, and then we'll drop these gorgeous shrimp in here. Now for that unusual sauce. I like to make this sauce when the potato is still hot. It's just easier to blend all the ingredients together. So I just scoop out the flesh from the potato and I go right to the blender. I need two tablespoons of warm water. Now to that, I'm gonna add two egg yolks. Just give it a little blend. Nice and easy. just enough to break up the potato. Now for the acidity. So I start with a splash of red wine vinegar, splash of fresh lemon juice, and then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then I blend it, just enough to integrate everything. At this point, I always give this sauce a taste to see if I need to add any salt or other seasoning. Mm. It does need a tiny pinch of salt and just a little bit more of that red wine vinegar. And I'll just give it one last blend. And then I'm ready to just add half a cup of olive oil nice and easy through the top. And then I take it out. It has this amazing glossy texture. I want to add a hint of spice, a little curry powder, two tablespoons. And curry is something that we commonly associate with Indian food, but in this case, with shrimp, something you'll often find in French bistros. Give it a little toast over low heat, just for a minute or two. Stir that toasted curry powder right in there. So once that sauce is made, let's face it, you get really motivated to cook those shrimp. You might want to make a double recipe, because this sauce is serious. To devein them, I use a scissor and I just cut straight up the back. This is kind of fun. Open it up by squeezing it. Go to the base of the tail and just dig out that vein. And you'll pull it right down to the end. And then you can just use your knife and just gently drag to clean out any extra bit. And then you've got that nice clean interior. This is the most important step in the recipe. So once all the shrimp are clean, then we turn back to that bouillon we put together. After I bring it to a simmer, just shut the heat off. I'm just gonna cook about half of the shrimp. Better to cook a smaller batch than it is to overload them. When I add these shrimp in, because they're cold, that the temperature of the bouillon's gonna drop. So this is gonna be like a nice warm bath. Perfect for keeping the shrimp tender, but cooking them through and allowing them to be infused with the flavors of our bouillon. So we are just finishing up cooking the shrimp. And you can see they've turned a beautiful pink color. And you can actually feel the texture and look to see that there's no translucency, but that they still feel tender. That's when I take them out. Classically in a bistro, these shrimp are served pretty cold. So I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. What I would naturally do if I sat down in a bistro is order the champagne cocktail and then have some of those peel and eat shrimp we made and then our sauce with the toasted curry. Mm. When you get that bracing taste of the curry powder in this sauce, those peppercorns, those bay leaves, it just really all comes together. 